Hey everybody, welcome to The Real United States. We're here in Lower Manhattan in New York City, in Battery Park, in front of the Sphere. This 25-foot bronze monument, if you will, this sculpture, originally sat in the courtyard, the plaza area between the Twin Towers here in New York City, until the Twin Towers fell in September of 2001. Well, this was buried in amongst the rubble and it was damaged by debris of various types. And when they dug it out, it was a lot of media coverage and it was saved. Even though it was damaged, it was, it was rescued and saved and put in storage. Six months to the day after the 9-11 attacks, on March 11th in 2002, the sphere was relocated here to Battery Park. Now the sphere is a sculpture that was commissioned in the mid-1960s. 1966, I believe, don't quote me on that, but I think it was 1966, by German sculpture, sculptor Fritz Koenig. And the idea of this particular sculpture was world peace through world trade. And I think he did a fairly good job of demonstrating that in sculpture form. Now there's been some, oh I guess, turmoil you might say, as to whether this should be returned to the 9-11 memorial site, which is only a few blocks from here. Um, and a number of people have, several thousands of people have signed a petition to return it. Uh, don't know if that's gonna happen or when. Uh, there was plans at one time in 2012 to move it. Obviously this is 2016, that still hasn't happened but it's sitting on this, this beautiful footing now. And I understand that uh, Fritz Koenig, the sculptor, actually oversaw the moving and construction, the relocation of this artwork when it was brought here in 2002, uh, along with like four engineers and 15 iron workers to build this base and get this thing set up. So quite an undertaking. So the reason this has become such an important symbol is because even though it was buried under massive amounts of debris, it came out of it damaged but relatively unscathed. It came out intact. <clears throat> so it was a, it's a symbol of, of resilience, of strength, and of hope. Um, and that's, you know, everybody has their, their, puts their own meaning about what this has went through and, and it, coming out of the other side of the event uh, relatively unharmed. But I think those are some of the, the, the emotions that are invoked in people that, that make this such a special thing. And it's right here on the, the banks of the Hudson River. We can't be 75, 80 feet from the edge of the Hudson. And I'm surprised. And that that, folks, is the ferry leaving the dock to head over to uh, Liberty Island. A lot of tourists come here. They're heading out on the boat to go over and see the Statue of Liberty. So that gives you some idea really where we are and where this monument is. A lot of people walking by here as they get to and from the ferry, but not a lot of people have come over just to see the sphere, which I suppose that after, you know, 15 years that it's, uh, you know, that most everybody has come to see it or has, those that live here have become accustomed to it. And it's also relatively early in the morning, but not too many people here right now. But a beautiful, beautiful sculpture. I understand it's made out of 52 or 54 separate pieces. For those of you that are into that sort of thing, it is not a solid bronze thing. It's a structural skin. You can actually see through some of the damage holes up into it. But an important part of our history now since 2001. So I hope you've enjoyed this short visit at The Sphere here in Battery Park, Manhattan, New York City. If you got questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below. I love hearing from all of you. I try to get back to everybody I can. If you haven't already, I encourage you to pick subscribe. Come along for the adventure. We love having everybody with us. And as always, thank you for watching.